I'm Joanne Banco. I love decorative stitches. There are so many built into your machine and they're so much fun to use to decorate lots of different items. Today I got a really fun technique I think you're really going to like. It's a way to um, combine stitches and you know create all new looks. Decorative stitches are really pretty stitched all by themselves, but hey, when we combine them together, then we create some really knockout looks. So let me show you how I build these, these stitch. I'm gonna go into the character decorative mode and I am gonna select something from menu number six. Okay, I'm gonna actually show you how I built one of my favorite combinations here. I'm gonna select this pattern here. I'm gonna choose a single element and then I'm gonna flip that. I'm gonna choose another one Oh, wait, I want to I want to delete that one because I want to go to another page and I want to add in some straight stitches. So let me get to the right one there, right there. And you'll see in a minute the method to my madness here. So I'm going to add three straight stitches. Then I'm going to scroll back to where I came from and I'm going to reselect that same pattern. I'm going to choose a single again and this time I'm going to flip it both ways, so flip it um, you know, vertically and flip it horizontally. So what I've done is I've created just a little motif there with a space in the middle. Now, I'm ready to stitch on my fabric. I've got my fabric well stabilized. I've got my decorative stitch foot on. And one of the fun things we can do with this is we can actually create this with two different colors. To save a little time today, I'm gonna show you all with one thread color, but you can see I've done um, green leaves and then added some, some flowers in there. I'll show you how I do that in just a minute. This is a multi-motion stitch, so that's, it's wider than your standard opening on your feed dogs, which a lot of your decorative stitches are just that standard size. These are extra large. Now what if I want to create another whole row? I can simply select the row key and it will continue on. It'll keep doing a row from top to bottom. At any time I want to decide, I can just select that little star key and get a single pattern again and it'll finish out at a whole full pattern. So we'll do one more full one here and then I'll show you what I did next. How I created a little bit of magic by adding that extra space in there so I could create some extra stitches. Now remember these are multi-motion stitches so the feed dogs are moving from side to side and that's building a stitch that's wider than what your normal stitches were. But you want to be careful you know what you want your fabric to be well stabilized and you want to be able to um, guide that straight right straight through the machine. Okay this is gonna tie off. Actually I'm gonna stop pause for just a minute. I'm gonna select tie off and cut. So at the end when it's finished with that full pattern it will automatically tie off. Select that single pattern. There you go it's tying off. It's ready to cut. All right let me raise the presser foot and you could see that beautiful line and you see that little space. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to arrow over to another page and I'm going to select this pattern right here and I'm going to select a single of that pattern. Now I could change my thread but like I said I'm going to leave that same color. I'm going to now turn on the camera and, and make use of that and if you see I can really, I can even change the, the color of that if I want to, turn that to a um, you know, a different color, whatever is going to contrast with my fabric. And I'm able to line that up perfectly with where my space is so that when I lower the presser foot and stitch, it's going to create that little extra motif, which I like to call it a flower, in between my leaves. And again, I've set it for tie off and cut. So it tied off, it cut. Now it's a simple matter of raising the presser foot moving it to my next position. I do the exact same thing with the camera. I can get real particular there and line that right up. When I lower my presser foot, I'm gonna get another motif right in that, that middle pattern. So combining your decorative stitches, blending them, stacking them, there are lots and lots of combinations. Take a look at my samples here. I've used open ones. I've added some extra fancy little flowers. I've even done some in the decorative mode of embroidery. So check your machine, see what the options are, and make full use of stacking, combining, and blending your beautiful decorative stitches.